checking out the qualifying times. First MX2 Moto coming up. Talk about the start. Obviously, it's changed from last year to this. Nice sweeper coming up the hill to the finish line. Do you like the start? Yeah, you know, the start's a lot better. Last year, it was a, it was a 180 right-hander, kind of uphill, too. And, uh, you know, the favor was the first 10 inside gates. But now it seems pretty even. Actually, I think this year, the outside might be you know, might be better because you might be able to sweep around. But uh, I think it should be good, you know, a you know, lot less hitting in the first corner and stuff and let everybody kind of spread out a little bit more. This is the Circuit de St. Julie, and the first MX2 moto of the season will be brought to you by MX Performance Magazine. Brian, a brand new season. Riders are pumped. The adrenaline is flowing. And we've got ourselves a brand new 34 girl. That's Tasha. She's going to be turning things sideways, rocking Randy Hall off to the side, calling the shots. She goes to five. Fabulous. Take it. The Monster Energy Pro National Motocross Series about to begin. The gate is down. A long drag race to the first turn, shifting up. It looks like Willard and Evan O'Badlin drives. Looks like Michael Willard's going to cross the line and take that first Royal Distributor. Oh, yeah. In style at that. The whole pack ensues. Coming around turn two. Willard in control. A pair of Yamahas there. That is Evan O. And it looks like Francis Eric Stormlight makes a move on Evan O with a huge launch on lap one. And look at that. Carly on that MTF. Suzuki right there in tow. Tight through the left hander to the Scott USA lockoff camp. Down into the valley, Brian. This is where they pick up speed. Coming up, and their assignment home with racing. Eric Sorby in second place as he gets by Evan Hope. The air they get there is incredible. The speeds today versus yesterday's practice, you can't even compare in race conditions. These riders are stepping it up huge. So we've got Sorbet second. There's our battle right there. Hey, uh, Yamaha just passed Carly for fourth place. They are down to the bottom of the bowl. That section will run up track conditions. Excellent right now. Forecast calls for Wraith. Brian into the back section. We've got Nick Avenue in third place. Jacob and Saylor. Jacob Saylor on the inside. Straight from the Supercross nice. series. Oh, huge contact, right? That's aggressive riding. I love to see that early in this series. Evano having all kinds of troubles. Carly takes the position right there on that MTF Suzuki. He's up from Georgia from the Millsap Training Facility. There he is. Evano slipped back. We've got number 25, Ocean Transportation's Tyler Medallia on the pipe. Right on Nick Evano's fender. The big battle right now is for second place. These are teammates. Eric Sorby, 934, 198, Jacob Taylor. Both Supercross specialists, Brian. Both up here to get things going in the outdoors. Are they ever? Ryan Blizzard right there, 134, the Cowie. He's right on the uh, wheels of Brandon Barnes. Also, he's Carly's teammate. Medallion goes right around the outside. But Blizzard, this is his first ever pro race and for a uh, first ever pro national damage last year. There's your leader, number 11, Michael Willard on that KTM. And a pair of Yamaha second, third. A nice tight two second gap between the three of them and there's Carly for four. Riding unbelievably fast in the early stages. Barnes now 176 has his pitch full. Medallion cut through the inside. They are not teammates both riding those great yellow Suzuki RMs. Very impressive young Tyler Medallion got the factory ride this year and he's putting it together. Eric Sorby tentative now staying with Willard though as is Jacob Saylor. Great racing up front Travis got a love Sorby. He is not afraid of the big hit. Now we got a pair of hardest battling for sixth place. That is Mark Anton Jenner on the outside. See that smooth line from Jenner on Jay Burke. He's local and he knows all those sneaky little sections. Jay Burke working the rubble line on the inside, dabbing, not taking the outside, but 